so here's a quick video on uh, some testing for expired sealant. I just re recently did a uh, um, transaxle uh, cover case and it seems like it's leaking again. What I used was the Toyota FIPG 1281 which is the red which is for transaxles and uh, diff covers um, made for gear oil etc. I also have some um, Permatex here which is uh, the one uh, uh, green, the one for uh, gear oil as well um, part number, uh, what is it, 81 18.2 um, so I think these <clears throat> products have a shelf life I'm gonna uh, but find out if um, if that's the case what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a test speed here another one here and then we're gonna wait 24 hours and we're gonna check to see um, how it cures um, I have a feeling this uh, Toyota has expired. That's why uh, it's not is not uh, making a good seal. So here we are. We have the red uh, FIPG Toyota on the left, and the Permatext on the right. I'm gonna take this outside, let it cure for 24 hours, and we'll check. Alright, guys, <clears throat> so here we are. It's been 24 hours exactly. Um, <clears throat> you can see the two beads that we did. Um, now, the Permatex is solid. I mean, this thing <clears throat> literally glued to the plastic and you can feel it it is solid all right now the uh, FIPG it's actually not still tacky has no adhesion as you can see to the plastic Okay, and you can see it break apart. It's literally soft. It's not, not even dry. You can see the residue on my skin. <clears throat> so pretty much, this has uh, it's expired, has failed, as far as uh, the sealant goes. <clears throat> you can see the difference generally when you when you pull these to stretch it out for say um, it should stretch um, three times the size before breaking off um, so you can see this should stretch three times so let's something about over here before it actually breaks and you can see it literally breaks before stretching so that's uh, yeah um, both co cohesive and adhesive failure um, and that's it and then the Permatex again it, this thing is is not is not moving you know it is stuck in there let me see if I can you can see how it rips you have to literally rip it from now mind you the the uh, Permatex I've had for about a year um, the FIPG uh, same thing 
Um, but like I was saying in the beginning, I I use the FIPG and um, the trans um, case cover started leaking again. Um, so I just did a quick test to see my suspicion was um, that the sealant had gone bad. I mean, you can literally see the difference here. I'm stretching it out. This thing is rubbery. See how it stretches out, you know? That this is a good, a good sealant. Again, even though I've had it for a year. <coughs> um, so this has, this, you know, both of these have a shelf life. Um, what I would recommend if you guys are doing any type of uh, uh, trans case cover, oil pan, uh, valve covers, uh, etc., is to always buy a fresh tube of whichever you you know uh, you would like to use. Primatex is a great um, manufacturer. They have all different types of sealants. The FIPG is it, it's a good product as well. However, um, this has an expiration date stamped on the product. This it doesn't. For some reason, it's kind of hard to decipher the stamping on the tube. Um, you might go online and figure out uh, the date, the expiration date. <coughs> Excuse me. So the manufacturer recommends this uh, to be no um, no more than six months. So unfortunately, whether you buy this uh, Amazon, eBay, or even at the, your local Toyota dealership, you have to do a test before you use it because some of the some of the boxes they have are just stored in the back for six months, a year until they actually need it. Um, so that's what I would recommend, right? That you can get a plastic bag like this or uh, aluminum works well um, and do a couple test beads. Um, leave it overnight 24 hours from start to finish and then go back and, and do a test, okay? It should pretty much harden like this. It should be able to stretch it should not be sticky. Um, it should be somewhat fully cured. This did not really cure. This pretty much failed. You can see it's. I mean, this stuff is like it's like pretty much like Play-Doh. Um, <clears throat> and also leaving residue and stuff on my fingers. So save yourself doing the job twice. Um, again, if it's something simple, you can you know get into the engine bay or whatever and do it quick. It's fine, I guess you can just do it. But there's no reason why you wouldn't be able to just do a, a test. Um, if it's something you need to do right away, of course, by all means, just do it and you know and get you out of the hole. But if it's something you're planning out to do, a weekend job or resealing the oil pan or something again buy yourself a brand new tube whichever <clears throat> you decide to use and always do a test test bit 24 hours and make sure that the sealant is not expired um, they all expired it's not like they you know live um, a shelf life forever so make sure you don't <clears throat> get caught with uh, expired cement all right guys so hopefully this has been a helpful video don't forget to subscribe thanks